Today, we are going to take a look at No Contest by Alfie Kahn. Um, this is a book that is about how competition is not uh, necessarily the avenue towards success or good outcomes. He makes an argument that competition is actually bad. Uh, this book, just briefly, um, he argues that competition isn't the natural state and that cooperation is the natural state. Cooperation acts as the foil throughout the book to competition. He argues that competition is less productive, it's less enjoyable, that it doesn't build character, uh, and a few other things. And most of what he cites is studies on uh, education, specifically a lot from young children, and studies that relate to business, and so that's where a lot of that comes in. And so, initially, I had read this book as a form of balancing because I was really into the idea of competition, specifically generalist competition, that individuals should try and uh, improve themselves in a general sense and then compete in some sort of general Olympics or decathlon of some sort where you challenge each other with mental, physical, social, and artistic strengths uh, in events, something to that effect. And the reason, I, so I read this book because I was like, hey, I, if I'm reading about competition and focusing a lot on that, I should balance it. And this book proved to be a bit paradigm shifting for me. And so maybe it can be for others as well. So let's jump into the ratings. Utility, I scored it a 9 because it significantly overhauled my worldview. And even though my actions um, are still catching up with the developments in my worldview, it's changed a lot how I look at competition and trying to win and how I look at trying to cooperate. So I think it can. Uh, create a significant impact on one's life, even though the book specifically doesn't offer a whole bunch of actionable things. Uh, it's not like a self-help book that has a lot of things and will score high on utility as a consequence of that. For entertainment, I scored it a 4. Uh, it's not... it's a lot of studies, it's a lot of um, arguments, uh, it's somewhat dry, so 4. For interest, I scored it an 8. A lot of the interest comes from the fact that it's both novel and has high utility. Uh, that's what's making it interesting. It's not like a Gladwell book, for example, where it's extremely interesting because of the way he wrote it. The subject material of competition maybe not being the choice is certainly interesting in America, where it's often viewed as uh, not, o not only is it not a choice between competition and not competition, competition is clearly uh, thought of as good. So, um, I scored it an 8. For novelty, I scored it a 9.5. Uh, it's uh, paradigm challenging if you are uh, have a sort of thinking about things that's very centered around competition. Um, perhaps it's a good balance to individuals that inform their worldview heavily with evolutionary biology, uh, because that tends to view uh, competition and winning is like sort of the axis through which developments are made and you seek efficiency and sorts. But this book makes pretty stark arguments that cooperation is really what's uh, more efficient in a lot of cases, even in business, which um, seems crazy, although you have to, you can, you want to compete on a macro level and not on a micro level is kind of what I synthesized between this and thinking about competition from economics. So novelty, 9.5. Uh, style, 7.5. Um, I, I made that rating a little while ago. Um, so I, my recollection of his style isn't particularly good, but I liked it at the time, so. Uh, readability, uh, he sections the stuff out well. Uh, the arguments flow fairly well. It's pretty easy to follow. Um, uh, considering the material. For difficulty, I scored it a 5, and this kind of correlates somewhat with the entertainment because it's a little bit dry. It's mostly focused on getting information out and uh, providing examples, and it doesn't construct some sort of 
Um, the material's a little bit difficult. Maybe not five difficult, but I scored it a five. And so that gives an overall of quite a high of 7.14. Largely, it's drawing from the novelty and the utility to get this. Um, I would recommend it to anyone who is hyper competitive uh, on the basis of just balancing and offering another perspective, uh, which is uh, why I read it initially. I would also recommend it to people that are um, specifically educators, particularly with young children. I thought about and implemented a lot of changes when teaching chess to kids as a consequence of this book, and I think that those uh, changes were good ones. Uh, I noticed a lot of things that I wasn't noticing before after reading this book, and it really uh, changed the way I approached teaching chess, which chess is by its very nature a very competitive game. It's zero sum. Any move that's good for you is bad for your opponent, and vice versa, or and vice versa. And uh, there's one winner and one loser. You can't work together. Chess is not cooperative. Um, and while it's good for kids' cognitive development, I'm uncertain it's uh, good for kids as a whole uh, after reading this book. I still think it is, but my view is shaken quite a bit. Uh, but you can do things, you can shift the way you do things to try and make environments more cooperative and less competitive. So I'd recommend it to hyper-competitive people, people worth, who are working with kids, people who are interested in uh, psychology or behavioral economics. Uh, it's interesting read for that. And yeah, score's pretty high too.